Welcome. I'm Meredith, and this is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot, all about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. Um, so today, um, you know, I know I have a lot of indie decks, and you know, those are always fun, but I thought it would be great to kind of go through like my, my top mass market decks that are inexpensive. So I actually have 13 decks that are under $20. Now these are according to the prices today on Amazon and I have links to, um, to everything. Uh, so if you're interested in them, I'm not affiliated, I don't get anything, you know, use my link, don't use it, it's up to you. Um, and I also have uh, nine decks that are under $24. So I just, I really wanted to include them because I think they're great and it was only a little bit more. So let me, I guess I need to add some light. It's so hot. It's so hot. But one of the great things about mid-August is it means summer's almost over. It's also my birthday, Sunday. But anyway, um, so first, and this, this is one of my favorites. This is Tara de Luz. De Luz. It seems like the more I like a deck, the harder it is for me to pronounce it. It's terrible. Okay, so this is by Etor Sarela Sareba. Um, I, I just hate that font. It's hard to read. But this is a fabulous deck. First of all, I love this size. It's such a neat, cute size. So compared to a standard tarot, you know, it's a good bit smaller and more narrow. And it's just, it's a really nice, comfortable size to hold in your hands. Now this is a kind of quirky deck, which I love. I mean, look at the Three of Swords, fabulous. It's just, um, I just love the artwork. I really do. I think it's um, it's wonderfully quirky and charming, and I think it's really brilliantly done. And there's something about the the colors that really speak to me. Um, yeah, I just I'm so charmed by this deck. And it's funny because when I first got it, I looked at it. I probably used it once or twice, but then I set it aside. I was like, eh, it's not, <laughs> not really into it. And it could also have been that I probably had a lot of other decks coming in at that time. But um, when I did my tarot collection video, I was actually going to rehome this deck until I looked for it. And I was like, oh my goodness, why have I not been using you? So, um, yeah, so I've, I've been using it quite a bit ever since, um, and I, I really love it. And I mean, it's under $20, so I think that's fabulous. So, you know, if you're looking to maybe just add a little something, um, love this, man. But you don't want to spend a fortune, and you want to get it quickly because you're instant gratification kind of person. I mean, this could be a great deck for you. Um, next, this is another one of my favorites. So this is the Gregory Scott Tarot. And look at those packs. And I did edge it. But I'm pretty sure I did not trim it. I didn't trim it. Nah. Um, now this deck, okay, if you, if you want like an RWS style deck that, um, can help maybe give you new perspectives on some of the cards, I think this could be a fabulous deck. Um, when this came out, there were some people who, who really disliked it because, um, some of the cards don't really mesh with, with the commonly used interpretations. But 
they're still, they're not wrong. You know what I mean? They're just kind of on that outskirt maybe, which to me, I think is fabulous. I mean, you can still read them any way you want, right? But if you want to just kind of expand upon, I mean, like, it, I think it's fabulous. I think it's fabulous. I love this deck. I find it to be really easy to read. It feels great in my hands. It's just, it's a wonderful deck. Um, this is one that I use a lot to read for others. And I use it for myself. And it's just, I think it's fabulous. It's fabulous, fabulous. Okay. So the next deck, I am very, very, very soon going to do uh, like a kind of um, a true like review uh, of, uh, because it was requested, but this is Edmund Dulac Tarot. So I just wanted to spend a little more time with it before I made that video, but it's coming very shortly. So, this is another one. It's under $20. I look at those backs. I mean, oh, look how nice. So, this deck, um, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful deck. I think that um, it can be wonderful for intuitive reading. I, there are a couple cards that... Um, that were a little weird maybe, but it doesn't bother me using it. You know what I mean? Like if I'm just flipping through and looking, there were a couple cards. If, if I hit them, I'll bring them up. But, you know, I kind of looked at them and I was like, oh, I don't know about that. But, but in using it, I haven't had any issues with them. So... Um, yeah, I think, you know, there are some decks that I feel like I don't, I don't need to be super in tune with all the cards because as a whole, it works really well for me. Um, and I think this is kind of one of those decks. I do wish the artwork, um, you know, I wish the cards were a little bit bigger, even though I love the size, like it's a nice size, but I think for this artwork, it could be nice to be a little bit bigger, but that said, I do feel that I see everything I need to see. Um, it's just lovely and I would like to see more of it. Um, but yeah, I think, I think this is a wonderful, beautiful deck. I mean, it's beautiful. The artwork's beautiful. Um, yeah, and I think, it, I think it reads really well. So, and again, under $20. So now some of the, some of the prices may be um, sale prices right now on Amazon. Oh, fuss. Um, but even without the sale, like none of them, you know, were like 75% off, you know. So... Some of the sale prices are better than others, and I will have the prices in the description if you're curious with the links. So you can see, now, you know, Amazon prices change all the time, so I can't guarantee it's not gonna change, but I would still expect them to be about, you know, 20 bucks or less. So the next one is Druidcraft, which is, um, one of my favorites for reading for other people. Um, I use it for myself sometimes. I just, I don't know. It just is so great for other people. Um, it tends to be one a lot of people pick for themselves. And it's just, it's a fabulous deck. Now, with this deck, there, oh, and I did, I did trim it. So, um, I trimmed, I think, part of the bottom and you know a big bit of the others but um there are two versions of this by by two different publishers so i have both links below and there's a price difference i don't remember off the top of my head but you'll see it in the description but this one oh let's see 
so I dug out the book. So this one that I have was by St. Martin's Essentials. Okay, so um, I forget the, the other one, but it's in the description. So if you specifically really like this one, and it does come with a big chunky book. I mean, double check the description if, if you go to buy it, just to make sure, but um, hopefully what I linked is, is, is this. Um, it's a great deck. It's a great deck. You know, there's, there's some gloss, but it's not, it's not like high gloss. It doesn't stick. The cards move beautifully. Um, and it's a, just a fabulous, fabulous deck. This is a fun deck to read um, when you're outside. <laughs> you know, just kind of sitting outside somewhere. Um, you know, because it is a very kind of nature type deck. So, um, and I did, I did edge it too. Um, and people have complained, you know, it does get, you know, I'm not precious with my decks, so I riffle shuffle them. I, and I've used the heck out of this. Um, so it does get dinged up, but I mean, honestly, um, especially cause the, the marker I used to edge it, I could just go over it again and that would take that away. It, if I cared, I don't really care. But again, it's, it's under 20 bucks. I think the one version is like under 24. All right. So next, we have the Deviant Moon. And this is the Borderless Edition. Um, now, there are several versions on Amazon. So, but the one that I linked is the Borderless. And it's on sale right now for like... I think it was like $14, $15, which is crazy. Um, cause this is a fabulous deck. So if you've been thinking about this, um, now is a good time to pick it up. Um, this is just, it's a great deck. It's not a deck I use all the time, but oh, it's so beautiful and it's so, so well done. Um, and to me, this, this deck does speak more of, um, you know, the fall and, and the winter. Um, so, I don't tend to use it a lot in the spring and summer. Um, I don't know, I don't know what it is with me and, and these fall associations with decks, except you know what, fall and winter are my favorite seasons. And I think a lot of my favorite decks, I just kind of say, oh yeah, that's a fall deck, that's a winter deck. Um, Cause honestly, I can't think of any decks that I consider to be summer decks. You know, I really, I don't think I have any. Maybe it's because I hate the summer. Look at that. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So, then, now this next deck, um, I don't have the mass market version. I have the indie version, but the mass market is available for under $20. So this is the Wandering Star. Now I can't really say, you know, what what differences there may be between the mass market and the indie because I only have the indie. Um, but um, this is just—it's a fabulous, it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. Look at those backs. And I hope they did that gilding. I don't know if they did. So. Um, but it's lovely, and if you like keywords, they they do have them in the cards. And the nice thing is they've been incorporated into the artwork. So if you don't want a keyword, you can just disregard it, which is fabulous. Um, but it's a it's a beautiful deck, and it's just. Sure. Oh, see, it took me a minute. I was like, oh, does this one not have keywords? But it does. Um, but yeah, so when I read it, I tend not to notice them, which is what I want. But, you know, they're there. Even if you didn't necessarily want them, but if you felt kind of stuck one day and 
you'd be like, oh, you know, could kind of get you going maybe. But, um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's a lovely, lovely deck. And I mean, for under $20, to me, you can't go wrong. All right. So, next, we have the Thoth Tarot. Now, I don't think it's this exact edition. Um, but it is a smaller one. Now, this one is super small because I trimmed it. I trimmed the heck out of it. So it's got it's got none of the none of the border, no no words. Um, and I etched it. But so the smaller version was about the size of the box. So just so you get an idea. Right, so it's it's a good bit shorter, a little bit more narrow. Uh, well, a fair bit. Um, but, and, you know, you can get it in, in the tiny version, which is basically this. There's like a medium size and then like the full size. Um, it does change the price point um, as, you, as you go through, but... This one is um, under under twenty, and I maybe the medium one is too, or it's close. But um, it's a fabulous stack. It's a fabulous stack, and you know if you're kind of on the fence for like oh, I don't know about it. I don't know if this is a deck that's going to work for me. I'm going to really use it. I mean, this could be a good opportunity to pick it up at a reasonable price, you know, without, without a whole lot of, um, investment. So, not that I'm trying to encourage you to go buy decks, but if you wanted to get one anyway, you know, might as well get it at a good price. All right, so next we have the Hermetic Tarot. Um, now this deck... So this is a black and white deck, um, which is my only gripe. It's a wonderful deck. It's got so much. Um, if you're looking for a deck to really dig into and maybe thought this just um, not your thing, this could be a good um, alternate, as long as you don't mind black and white. Um, For me, this deck takes a little more time because of the lack of colors. Um, you could maybe color it in. I feel like you'd have to use a marker. You know, like colored pencils, it's a little too slick. I don't think that would work. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, if this were colored, I would use the heck out of it. So, but um, but I use it occasionally. For me, I have to use it kind of earlier in the day when my eyes are not tired um, because it can just take um, a while because there is a lot going on. There's a lot to pick up. Um, I don't know what is going on with that. Okay. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's a great, this would be a great study deck. And it's just, it's it's really a fabulous deck. I just wish they would do it in color. But. Alright, so the next one. It might be a little bit early, but hey. The Halloween Tarot. And it's in a tin, which is fabulous. It's not, oh, it's the, so this stack, I really need to trim it. It would look better trimmed, but 
this is just a fun quirky deck now this is a deck that i do pretty much save for halloween but i mean it's coming up it's coming up so and i feel like sometimes like on amazon sometimes when it becomes the season for that thing either the price will drop or it goes way up so um now might be a good time to get it if you're interested in it um i just i think it's so fun and, and charming and quirky um yeah i just i think it's it's really lovely um and i do love the halloween season so i'm all about it. i will start uh halloween themed things in like september because that's how i am but yeah if if that's of interest to you um and you get the tin too which is fabulous So next, we have the Joie de Vivre Tarot. Um, now this one I did trim and I etched it. So the cards, you know, originally fit. Um, I guess they probably fit the picture on the back. Yeah, so that was the original size. So compared to just a little more narrow um, and, a, and a little bit shorter than a standard. But of course now, because I trimmed them, um, it's just, you know, a bit more so. This is such a great deck though. So these are the backs. Um, just so charming and sweet. I love the whimsy. I love the artwork. And there's so much to kind of delve into. You know, we have these, these, this lush world, right? And I just think it's fabulous. And, uh, and if you see my previous videos, you know, I don't really like animals dressed up. I don't mind this at all. It doesn't bother me. I think it's more when the animals are kind of sexualized. Like putting corsets on, on female animals and like, you know, all of a sudden they have breasts like women. That creeps me out. Um, but yeah, this is, oh, I love this card. This is just a wonderful, wonderful deck. Um, and, oh, I love, look at that. It's under twenty dollars, so all right. Next, oh, this is one of my favorites. So, this is Tarot de Maria Celia, um, and it comes in a tin. I edged it. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so those are the backs. Um, love the art. I love the art. Now, this is by uh, Leonard Jim Narciso. Narciso. So, he also did another deck that's on this list and uh, the Blue Deviant Tarot. And um, he's actually created a host of other decks. Um, and eventually I will have them all because I love his artwork and it's very different um, as you'll see from deck to deck so it's not like there's a sameness I just I mean look at that this is a fabulous fabulous deck and I think that um, you know if if you're unused to reading pips and you're not sure if you know you want to kind of go there this could be a great deck try it out you know because it's under $20 um, and it's beautiful I mean it's just <laughs> it's charming and it's just uh, I love it I really love this deck um, but it you know it's not a huge investment 
So, if, you know, you work with it for a while and you decide, you know what, now I need, I need illustrated, pe I need, you know, you haven't, you haven't spent $50 on an indie deck or, you know, what have you. Um, so, and it's, it's just lovely. Okay. So next we have the Vanessa Tarot in a tin, also by Leonard Jim Narciso Narciso. Um, these are the backs, which are just precious. So this deck is very, very different from um, my, my normal aesthetic, but I really like it. There's something about it. Um, it's, yeah, it's a little bit cheeky, this deck, I feel. Um, and I am here for it. It's just charming. And I don't use it all the time. But, you know, sometimes you're in that mood for that kind of energy. And uh, I just really like it. It's just a fun, fun deck. And again, it's not a huge um, investment. You know, which, which helps, especially if you know, you're kind of on the fence about it, um, which is the way I was, you know, I bought this solely because it, it was created by, uh, Leonard Narciso, Narciso, um, but I really like it, so, now we have one more that's under $20, <coughs> and that one, <clears throat> is the Crystal Visions Tarot. Now this deck, um, I originally bought it's worth <laughs> I must have trimmed the sides, but I didn't bother rounding it. Um, but yet, yeah, so this has been trimmed and I edged it. <clears throat> And honestly, the main reason I bought this deck is because the backs are so pretty and I wanted to edge it in this yummy color. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I will say, since I've gotten this deck, I really like it. There's something very indistinct about the figures. And, you know, at first I was like, oh, you know, I don't know that I'll like that. But I actually like it a lot. It makes it very kind of dreamy. Um, and I like it. It's almost like if you let your eyes unfocus a little bit, you can almost see it better. Um, yeah, I really like it. And uh, it's, it's a sweet deck. It's so pretty. It's really pretty, and it's just got that lovely dreaminess that I am here for. So, all right. So now we just have well, we have nine more. Oh my goodness! But these are under twenty-four dollars. Um. So the first one is the Tarot of the Secret Forest. And this, this one is such an interesting deck because we have two sides, right? So each card has that kind of uh, colorful side and then the black and white. Um, so depending on how you shuffle, how the cards come, you know, it's a little bit different, which I think is fabulous. 
so it's just a really unique deck um, again it's a great size it's you know I haven't been showing size for everything but um, it's just a little bit shorter a little bit more narrow but I don't know it feels great in my hands like it just it just feels nice it's got a nice movement um, yeah now the thing about this deck I will say is when I first got it it reeked like reeked um, so basically what I did was I put it in a little um, like a um, little box basically with with some incense and things and I can, and this is after airing it out for a while too and that did not help um, so I basically I think I left it there for like a week or two uh, but that did get rid of the smell I don't know if it was a chemical it smelled kind of like artificial like strawberries or something it was awful it was really strong but that did take care of it so um, that is the good news so but it's a great deck and uh, you know a very reasonable price so next um, so I just did an unboxing of this pretty recently this is the Heavenly Bloom Tarot, which is another one that I just love. Um, so if you're interested in seeing the unboxing, I can link it below. These are the backs. It's got that beautiful, beautiful gilding. Um, nice movement to the cards, which I love. Uh, very unique art style. So I feel like people either love it or hate it. Um, I really love it. So. And this is a deck that um, is built up around this whole world. It's really interesting. Um, so yeah, check out, if, if this interests you at all, check out my walkthrough because I go into it more. Um, but it's a really interesting deck, I think. So if, if this art style appeals to you, I would definitely give it a, give it a look. And again, very reasonably priced. You know, it's under $24. Um, I don't remember the exact price, but it will be linked in the description. But um, yeah, I just, oh, look at that. I just think it's wonderful. So I really, really like it. And I haven't had it long. Um, but it's fabulous okay so cruising right along next we have phantasma tarot um so this is by paulina fay who also did i lost it <laughs> i lost it already uh what well, was there we go, Joie de Vivre. And, and here she was Paulina Cassidy, but um, she's changed her name to Faye. Um, so it's the same artist. Now, the nice thing about this deck, the backs are a little washed out. I really would have liked a bit more color, but I mean, the main thing is the fronts. And the great thing about this is the size I mean they're compared to the joie de vivre I mean look at the difference so you get to see so much more detail in the artwork you just get so much more you just get so much more I think from the cards um, and this is a deck that when I got it I didn't use it that much because I do love the Joie de Vivre. Um, but this is, this is a fabulous stack. I mean, it's a fabulous, fabulous stack. And uh, 
Yeah, I think this is a great size for her art. I would love Joie de Vivre to come out in this size. I would totally pick it up because um, it's a fabulous deck. But uh, yeah, I love this one too. <sighs> Look at the cat. It's just great. Um, and they both have, you know, love this. Look at that. Different energies. Um, oh, I love that too. I, this is a great deck. It's just a great deck. Um, so if, if you're interested and maybe you thought that Joie de Vivre was a little small, hard to make out some stuff, this one might be perfect. Okay. All right, so this next one, I don't have the mass market version. I have the indie. Um, I, I don't, I don't even know what differences are because I just don't have the mass market, but um, it's uh, Dreamkeeper's Tarot, and this is such a fabulous deck. I had to include it, and it's under twenty-four dollars, and it's just lovely. I love the dreaminess. I love the um, quirkiness. But it's like a serious quirkiness. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I don't know. There's something very. I don't even know the right word. I want to say heavy, but it's not heavy, right? I, I don't want you to feel like. Actually, the deck feels very light, but there is there is like a. You know what it is? It feels important. That's the best way I can think to describe it. It just feels important. So even though it's kind of whimsical, it's like almost like a, a serious whimsy, but I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, it's an important whimsy. Important is a better word. Um, and I just, I think it's fabulous. I think it's absolutely fabulous. This is a fabulous deck to use like in the middle of the night. Um, or like late at night when you're kind of tired. I mean, look at that. It's just great. So I love the backs. I don't know if the backs are different in the mass market, but um, it's, it's such a great deck. Okay, so then we have... I think this is the uh, the Crow Tarot. Yes. So, Crow Tarot. <laughs> it's a little book. Um, this is another one that uh, under $24. And um, it's lovely. I love the artwork and the card stock. So much better than certain other um, decks. It's just, it's lovely. I love crows. Um, I love the artwork. It's, it's charming and it's beautiful. I look at the Knight of Cups. Beautiful. So, I love the, the colors. It's just fabulous. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a great deck. Okay. So we just have three more. And do not go anywhere because when we get done, we have to do the drawing for the next giveaway. And as I'm trying to do this, I will take time to say, if you haven't entered, if you don't know about it, I will link the kind of beginning of the giveaway below in the description, because I think this is only going to be the fourth deck out of, I'm pretty sure, 10. So you still have time to participate if you're interested. Okay. Next is Shadowscapes Tarot. Now, this is the English one. There is a Czech version that is much larger. 
um, I didn't include that because it's over $24. But now I did, I did trim this. So I trimmed three sides. Um, so as you can see, it is, it is shorter, more narrow than a standard. Um, it's such a great deck though. It's such a great, great deck. Um, so I do have both versions. And actually, I was just commenting, um, I think yesterday, on uh, Sharon of uh, Trio of Witches Tarot. Uh, did a great comparison. If you want to see, I'll link, I'll link her video below um, of this and the Czech version. So you can see kind of the size difference. There are some differences in color, um, things like that. But as much as I was so excited to get a larger version, and that's all I've been using lately when I, when I reach for this deck, but I kind of just want to use this version. And I think it's just because I've had it uh, for a while and, and I've, you know, I've gotten to know this deck and, and I trimmed it and I edged it and things. So, um, yeah, I mean, I love seeing more detail in the larger cards, but I love this one. Um, so, and I will say, if you do pick up this smaller one, trimming the borders absolutely helps. It just helps, I don't know, it helps the artwork come out more. At least that helped me. Um, Cause when I first got it, I was like, oh no. <laughs> there was too much. I just couldn't, you know, to try to see it all, but um, Yeah, it, trimming the borders helped tremendously. Maybe I need to trim the other version. We'll see. But um, it's such a great deck. It's such a great deck. And it's under $24. Um, okay, just two more. First, we have Tower of the Abyss. Now, this deck oh, is so incredible. I mean, it's Anatorian, so you know it's going to be incredible. Um, and it's under $24, I'm just saying. Now, this is a black and white deck, or, you know, cream and black, but her artwork is so incredible. I don't, I'm trying, you know, one of my big issues with black and white decks is it can be hard to, to pick out details and things and I don't have that problem with her deck um, it's just oh this is an incredible deck I mean if you don't have if you don't have this deck you need to get it no I'm just kidding but it it's a fabulous deck I mean look at that so um, but I mean it may not appeal to you it, you know there's no one size for everybody but um, if, yeah, if you like her artwork at all, even if you don't like, um, you know, like a, like a black and white style deck, you might consider this because you might be surprised because I, I really genuinely don't tend to care for black and white decks. Oh, look at that. But, um, it, it doesn't bother me in this deck. Now, would I have liked to see it in color? Oh, absolutely. But it doesn't detract from it honestly it's just it's a fabulous deck it's so beautiful and it's so powerful and um i love it i absolutely look at that absolutely love it so and now we just have one more And this deck is Tarot of the Golden Wheel. So this one is so pretty. Love the backs. Love them. Love the colors. I edged it. Um, and it's just... It's different. It's different from my other decks. Um, it's got such a... 
kind of an old world charm, I guess, um, that I really enjoy. Love that full look at that. I just think it's wonderful. And this is a great deck to read for other people, at least for me. Um, and that tends to be how I use it. I tend to use it more for others than for myself. Um, but man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And this is a deck that um, a lot of people do pick to, uh, to be used in their readings. So like, it's, it's very popular with people. Um, and it's, it's just lovely. And it is about the same width, but a good bit, let's see if you can see it better, um, good bit taller than a standard tarot. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's a great deck. And, uh, yeah. I just think it's fabulous. Look at her. Oh. So I should use this more for myself, honestly. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, so. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know. Are these decks that appeal to you? Do you have them? Do you want them? Is this helpful? Is it nice to kind of see just some reasonably priced decks? Um. Uh, you know, because sometimes it's nice to, to save some money and still get a fabulous deck. So I think I want to do a video on, on Oracle decks under like $20. Um, you know, just my favorite mass markets. Um, but anyway, now on to the giveaway. So today we're giving away the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck by Matt Hughes. Um... And this is a deck that, I mean, it's, you know, it was used once or twice by me, and that's about it. It just, I think the, the colors just don't really, like, I need a bit more color, you know, a little bit more saturation or, or brightness. Although some of them, you know, love the gold bits, though. Those are, those are wonderful. Um, but it's just a deck that didn't really click for me. Um... But I know a lot of people love this deck, and so I want to pass it on to someone who will love and, and appreciate it and use it, because it deserves that, you know? So, um, just lovely. Without further ado, I'm going to pick the name of the winner. And this person has about two weeks to get back to me. Now, I will post on the original video that showed this, um, where, you know, where people were able to enter, I will post a response to their uh, comment to help alert them, and obviously I'll show it here. But then after that, two weeks. If I don't hear from you in two weeks and you won, I will do another drawing for, you know, and give someone else a chance. So I feel like two weeks is a reasonable amount of time. So. Sue Hawkins. So if you are Sue Hawkins, congratulations. This deck is yours. Um, so either comment on this video or comment on the original video where you already commented to uh, enter the drawing. Um, basically, I'm going to give you my email and ask you to send me an email with your address and if you live outside the US I will need your phone number as well so that I can send this deck to you um, and uh, yeah so so just make sure to respond to my comment or, or just comment yourself and you know so I can get the deck to you so until next time just be wonderful to yourself be really really wonderful because you deserve the best only the best all the best and that is my wish for you